Good morning, students. I thank you for your cooperation to proceed our classes. Uh, with your kind cooperation, we have completed many chapters. And during our previous class, we already completed a chapter that is the Adventures of Toto. And uh, today morning, you already attended the examination for that. And I'm happy that majority of the students attended the examination. And uh, today I came up with another topic. This is a, a poem from uh, your Beehive book. The name of the poem you can see on the screen, Wind. And today is day one. You can see on the screen, class nine, Wind, day one, May 28th, 2020, Thursday. That's today, right? So before heading towards the topic, let's go to the instructions first, right? To know more about our today's task. So these are the instructions. Uh, First, you have to watch the video till the end for better understanding of the poem because I will be explaining the poem here in the video. Second, read the poem. Third, write the summary of the poem but you should not submit it today evening. You have to submit it by tomorrow evening, right? So, I wrote it here, submit the task by Friday evening. But I request you, do not wait for the last moment to write the summary. If you get enough time today, watch the video, read the poem and write the summary now itself. If you find difficulty, please write the summary by today evening so that you can submit it by tomorrow evening, right? So, let's go to the poem now. So, before starting the poem, uh, I just brought uh, about the poets. Here, I wrote about the poets because the poem is composed by Subramanya Bharati. But the poem was actually uh, like no, composed in Tamil. And A.K. Ramanujan translated the Tamil version into English. So, I wrote here about the poets because we have to know about uh, uh, Subramanya Bharati as well as A.K. Ramanujan, right? So, it was uh, originally composed by Subramanya Bharati but it is in Tamil and later on A.K. Ramanujan translated into English, right? So, this is Subramanya Bharati. You can see here Chinna Swami Subramanya Bharati also known as Bharatiyar who was born on 11 December 1882 and died on 11 September 1921. Was a Tamil writer, poet, journalist, Indian independence activist, a social reformer and a polyglot. Polyglot is like you no know, who is able to speak or able to write in different languages. So that is uh, no that is known as polyglot. Popularly known as Mahakavi Bharati, that is great poet Bharati. He is a pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and is considered one of the greatest Tamil literary figures of all time. See, he is very much famous in Tamil literature, right? Let's, uh, you can just uh, read it uh, till the end for better understanding about Subramanya Bharati. Pause the video, please go through it. Then we will go to the next poet, Atipate Krishna Swami Ramanujan. Uh, popularly known as uh, A.K. Ramanujan, uh, who was born on 16 March 1929 and died on 13 July 1993. Popularly known as A.K. Ramanujan, was an Indian poet and scholar of Indian literature who wrote in both English and Canada. Ramanujan was a poet, scholar, professor, a uh, philologist, folklorist, translator and playwright as i already told you that he translated this poem from tamil to uh, english right so here he wrote here no he had the uh, ability to write in different languages like english kannada tamil telugu and sanskrit he was very well versed in different languages right so it is all about ak ramanujan you can just have a, a look of uh, the you know, uh, poet uh, pausing the video right I'll not uh, keep on reading all the things because uh, the video will become longer and that will create a problem. So, we have uh, introduction of the poem. Actually, here is the introduction. What is the base of the poem? Uh, the poet said like, you no, know, the wind, especially, you know, the wind comes and you know, destroys certain things. For example, you might have, or you might have uh, heard about like Ampan coming and destroying that, uh, uh, you know, West Bengal and some part of uh, Assam and all, right? So, how wind will definitely blow, right? So, and wind destroys certain things, right? 
and the poet said first the poet asked the wind not to blow uh, terribly and blow gently the wind he requested and later on he thought he found that the wind uh, never listens to us so wind uh, will definitely blow uh, at his own uh, speed so the poet said later on that uh, we should not like no talk to the wind directly rather uh, we should build strong homes so that the wind cannot disturb us right so that is what the base of the poem uh, actually uh, here through the poem the poet wanted to tell us certain things like you no know, we should be very strong enough actually this wind is compared to the adversities the problems and setbacks right so as a human being we come across problems right so the problems will break down break us down but according to the poet right the we cannot stop the problems and adversities no you cannot stop coming to your life but the poet said right uh, be strong to face all the adversities of life like the same way the poet told the wind uh, that uh, first requested the wind to stop but later on when uh, poet realized that the wind will never stop it and stop and then the poet said instead of uh, requesting the wind to stop better Uh, start uh, building strong homes so that the wind will not disturb us so that is the base of the poem adversities difficult will come difficulties will come to our lives but we should be very much strong enough to uh, face the difficulties so that is the base of the poem let's uh, know the poem in detail so poem and explanation so this is the poem in red uh, that one that is the poem and black is the explanation right so wind comes softly don't break the shutters and the windows don't scatter the papers don't throw down the books on the shelf the uh, there look what you did you threw them all down actually uh, here in the first uh, paragraph the poet was like you no know, uh, requesting the wind to uh you no know, come softly and the wind destroyed a lot of things that is also is highlighted here first uh, the poet requested the wind to come very softly right so that is what about the first paragraph you bought rain again right now whenever wind blows what happens the it uh, uh, it um, starts raining uh, so these things right no? like uh, these days that because of amphan guwahati is also like you no know, in guwahati uh, it's like continuously it has been raining for many days so so that is what about the first paragraph uh, requested the wind to come softly because the wind destroyed a lot of things right so let's go to the second this one framed crumbling houses crumbling doors crumbling rafters see when the wind came it destroyed the uh like no uh, it destroyed certain things like no crumbling houses means the houses which are not strong enough the doors which are not strong enough the wind destroyed everything crumbling wood crumbling bodies you might have seen on the road like no uh, many trees fell down on the road so crumbling hearts now here see like no some certain people also died because of the wind people die definitely because of wind wind will definitely wind comes and you no know, breaks down the trees and all the trees fall on human bodies or like you no know, on the houses and all and finally people die so that is what uh, the wind uh, did and according to the poet like you no know, wind came and destroyed a lot of things the wind god winnows and crushes them all see this this is very important line so i just separated the line from the poem Uh, the wind god we knows and crushes them all wind definitely wind will come and definitely wind will crush everything that are weak now see here you will understand he won't do what you will tell him see here if you request the wind it doesn't mean that wind will stop right if you say oh wind don't break my house if your house is not uh, strong enough do you think the wind will stop and your house will not be broken it will never happen so come let's build strong homes now here the poet quite differently said right now the wind will not listen to you if you request the wind to come softly rather start building strong houses actually here the poet wanted to say that uh wind will definitely come like the same way adversity is difficulties will definitely come to our lives but we must be strong enough to face the difficulties for example if you if we are weak definitely what happens the wind will attack us for example that corona virus even the government is uh, continuously you no know, spreading a message like you no know, if your immunity is strong definitely this virus cannot do anything to you so that immunity is what your 
strength so if you are strong enough the adversities will not will never uh, uh, will will not be able to destroy you or kill you or uh, like you no know, create problem in your life if you are strong enough so he said the poet said right uh, instead of asking the wind to stop uh, uh, you no know, stop or blow uh, lightly or slowly uh, rather you just start building strong homes and you should be strong enough to face the adversities of life because if you say that oh difficulty don't come do you think the difficulty will not come difficulty will definitely come so what you should we do we should be strong enough to face the difficulties right so this is what the uh, last slide again the wind blows out weak fires he makes strong fires roar and flourish uh, his friendship is good we praise him every day see here uh, weak if the fire is weak when the wind comes what happens it blows off right when the fire is strong what happens it spreads right so that's why in the end the poet said like no his friendship is good winds friendship is good and we must praise the wind every day like you know certain uh, problems for example problems and setbacks they are very strong enough and if you are very much strong then only you can face the difficulties and you can easily win over the difficulties that come to your life right so this is all about the poem so this is a lengthy explanation that i brought it for you so i request you please after watching the video go again to the starting and pause the videos and please read this explanation that is given just below the uh, the extracts just below the uh, extracts of the poems because i collected if you see here here this is the poem this first is the poem this is the poem right so here i gave the explanation so i kindly request you pause the video and read it i i try to tell you the entire things but even then if you read it you'll understand it in a better way right so these are the again this uh, the the red these are the these are these lines are from the collected from the poems poem and this is the explanation so please pause the video and read it properly right and along with this uh, please read the poem once and your task is to write the summary by today itself and if possible right uh, if you if you do not uh, get enough time to write the summary now please watch the video two three times and read the poem once and you know by today evening as a homework you can write the summary or by tomorrow evening you can write the summary and submit me because i told you that you have to submit the summary by tomorrow evening right hope that you understood the poem and if you f uh, face any difficulty in understanding you may you can directly contact me right i'm always uh, online to help you out right so hope that uh, you will all be able to understand and we uh, will be able to write the answers properly and submit me uh, by tomorrow evening and i thank you again and bye bye